Hey there, this is Pastor Kyle again with our Holy Week video guide. We're going through Holy Week together as a church family and looking at Jesus' last week before his crucifixion. And doing that by looking at what Jesus did each day of Holy Week, these videos are to hopefully help prepare your hearts and the hearts of your family for Easter on Sunday. On Sunday, Jesus was welcomed into Jerusalem as the Messiah and praised. On Monday, we see that Jesus cleared the temple of those making the temple into a marketplace. On Tuesday, we saw the Pharisees tried many times to trap Jesus by asking him difficult questions. And today is much different for Jesus. We believe that Jesus and his disciples were, uh, for a lot of the day, resting in Bethany on this day. Today is often called Spy Wednesday. It is called that because this was the day that Judas conspired to hand Jesus over. Judas was paid 30 pieces of silver for his betrayal. In the evening, Mary of Bethany anointed Jesus with expensive perfumed oil. Judas objected, but Jesus rebuked Judas, saying that Mary had anointed him for his burial. This is the same Mary from Luke 10 who, while her sister was working and cleaning, all Mary wanted to do was sit at the feet of Jesus and hear from him. All of us have someone in our lives who, when we think of their names, we just think about how amazing that person is and how we love them and how we would love nothing more than just to sit down and spend time with them. And for Mary, that was Jesus. Jesus was precious to Mary at Bethany. Some saw Jesus as a way of pushing their own agenda. Some wanted to seem great in the eyes of Jesus and look good in front of him. Some wanted to follow Jesus for what they could simply just receive from him. But it's clear that Mary just simply adored Jesus. As we look back at the events of what happened on this day, we have a very unique opportunity to do what Mary did. Take time to just sit and adore Jesus, to admire who he is, and take time to remember how good it is just to sit with Jesus and spend time with him. I want to encourage you today to read what happened on this day, but then just stop and have no agenda but to think about and spend time with Jesus. Don't pray about your needs or what you would like to happen, but just sit down and spend time with Jesus and think about what happened on this day and what will happen Friday and then Sunday. Try and find some perfume or cologne or something that represents Mary anointing Jesus to remind you throughout the day of what happened on Wednesday of Holy Week. If you have kids, be sure to remind them of what it means to have a personal relationship with Jesus and to cherish that relationship.